Dr. Roscoe, in many other cancers, we've been hearing about targeted therapies and immunotherapies. In some cases, a specific mutation or chromosomal abnormality may indicate that a particular treatment may be effective. Are we there yet in multiple myeloma care? Yeah, so myeloma care is always a little bit different. So myeloma being a blood cancer is different than other solid tumors and how we treat it is also, also a bit different. So unlike solid tumors in which we look at um, the size of a cancer and then if it's got different places in the body um, and multiple myeloma, it being a blood cancer, just by definition, it's throughout the body. So we have to be able to estimate or stage cancers differently um, and stage myeloma differently. And it is based upon the cytogenetics that um, uh, Dr. Cotini just outlined to you. So to get back to your question, Catherine, it's a bit about like, how do we define treatments um, and how are um, some of these therapies being um, uh, defined specifically and personalized for patients with multiple myeloma? And we do do that. And we do this based a, a lot upon the DNA of those cancer cells and whether or not they've acquired what I would call kind of um, a standard, standard risk um, changes or whether or not they've acquired um, biology that makes them tend to act more aggressively. Now, again, these DNA differences, you know, all, you know, not all cancers follow the book and, and not all therapies um, are, um, are unique to these, but what it does help us do as clinicians to say, well, we have kind of standard of the risk mutations um, within these cancer cells. And then we can define oftentimes how many drugs a patient gets when they're newly diagnosed. Um, just like many other cancers, um, uh, our treatments for multiple myeloma um, can be a combination of pills or shots. Um, and then if they, if patients carry um, mutations that tend to act more aggressively, we tend to be very aggressive with their upfront therapy, where many patients would receive kind of three medicines. Patients with um, more aggressive disease biology may receive four medications. And that's very unique upon um, uh, kind of many characteristics. It's not only based upon the cancer cells DNA, but also the health of the patient health of the patient really kind of defines also um, the ability to tolerate treatment. So many patients are, you know, myeloma just being such a very, very, um, has a lot of heterogeneity to it in terms of some patients who have myeloma um, can't believe that they could possibly have this cancer. You know, it's really kind of picked up subtly with blood abnormalities. And then some patients with myeloma come into the hospital very, very sick. Um, with kind of having kidney damage or having infections, and it runs the gamut in between between asymptomatic really, and then as and patients coming quite unwell, and that also influences our treatment decisions. So when we think about your question about whether or not you know we have um, different immunotherapies or targeted therapies based upon um, uh, the genetic changes within that, within the myeloma cancer cells, the answer is yes. We we do shape therapy that's tailored around um, the type of abnormalities within, within the cancer cells. But unlike some cancers where um, if the cancer cells carry a specific marker, we get this specific drug. Um, that's not quite where we're at with multiple myeloma in terms of providing therapy saying, if you carry this mutation, this is what you should get. So it's a very long answer to say to you that we do personalize therapy based upon changes within the DNA, but we also base that upon how fit the patient is and how their health was prior to developing cancer. Mm -hmm.